Oh, I to back with another video. How J. Cole's Kendrick diss changed everything. Let's get into it. And I know y'all see this. Like and subscribe. Kick Wagmo. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Let's get into it. Weeks of waiting for somebody to respond to Kendrick Lamar. Hey, I haven't even listened to the I haven't even listened to the diss yet. I'm not gonna lie. I've been bull. Still dodging the studio. J. Cole had they gotta stop using this shit of him crying, bro. He answered to Kendrick, and he didn't just come with a diss song of his own, but he released an entire new record titled Might Delete Later, and with Cole right now being in the biggest feud that he has ever been in in his career. The question but Cole's that asked, guy, bro. Did Cole take a lead against Kendrick in this beef so far, or did he fold under the pressure? Now, when we look at Might Delete Later, it's important to understand what this record is trying to do in its entirety. As J. Cole has been teasing this project for the past few months through cryptic snippets on burner social media accounts, mm -hmm. he's already laid this album J. Cole, out to tease what will be coming for his final album, The Fall Off. But from my delete later's dark production to Cole's demeanor, which seems much more intense than it has ever been. This LP is here to set a fire in the rap world and serve as a warning to every other MC that they cannot compete with J. Cole. And as Kendrick Lamar just poured gasoline all over the genre with his latest verse, I'm not gonna this lie. has only raised the stakes of the entire I gotta, I gotta hear it, bro. I hope he plays so a little bit of it in it comes to how J. Cole performs, as the pressure and tension in the rap game has never been higher. Well, we, well, we need to, to dive into this project more to see if he was able to get the best of Kendrick. It's obvious that throughout so J. Cole is one to do it, bro. Like, J. Cole's that guy, so bro. So much of this LP, J. Cole is rapping on a level that we have never seen from him before. The J. Cole we see on most of this project is not the typical, humble, and friendly Cole that we are used to seeing so often, but instead, we see a hungry, vicious, and aggressive version yeah! of Yeah! Really put, like put your finger in the sky if you want it, I said to put your finger in the sky if you want it, nigga. channeled bravado and Cole's sharp lyrical sword that is flexed throughout the project makes this easily one of his most exciting performances is while you go through the tracks on this album. Hearing Cole in this type of bag just expand and show us aspects of his arsenal that we have Cole's never seen guy. before makes this record feel like a training session of the highest magnitude and you can't stop listening to it because you know that at the end of the day, as the energy intensifies and you get closer to that final song, you are getting one step closer to seeing how Cole is going to use all the skill we see him flex to enter the ring and fight. Bro, him. he's over here, bro. Lamar. Now, right alongside the enthralling performance from J. Cole, what makes this journey towards standing up to his greatest foe so captivating is the production. Fuck, I gotta go watch. I gotta go listen so to it, bro. Next, dynamic. next it video, react to, to it. It feels so grandiose, which ultimately allows the entire LP fine. to have such a distinct atmosphere in its entirety. Whether it's the gloomy instrumentals that are purposefully distorted and muddied up to make all of Cole's bars feel so much more raw and jagged, or even some of the more soulful instrumental Bro, this nigga, I don't even sound like he on dick, but it gotta be fire if he's talking like this, bro. Later works just as hard as J. Cole does for the most part in its attempt, and keyword attempt, to show us that Cole isn't just the best MC alive, but that he is the best hip hop artist out right now, and he's got a title. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. J. Cole's been underrated for a minute. This defines the he's always been out the way. Delete later. What everyone, of course, tuned in to see is how J. Cole decided to stand up to Kendrick Lamar after being embarrassed by him for the second time in his career. And while after Kendrick's control verse came out in 2013, Cole did not have much to say. This time around, he is not sure. Cole's done mature, bro. He's done. He's done. You put him on that art. Now he's big man. And just prepare his lyrical sword for the final blow. Now, as you go through the track list on My Delete later, and many of the cuts get more introspective and tense, Cole throws out some subliminal disses that seem to be targeted at Kendrick Lamar and his most recent verse, but aside from this, Cole did something pretty diabolical on this record by featuring none other than one of Kendrick Lamar's day one collaborators, fellow black hippie members, and former Top Dog Entertainment label mate Absol on the track Pie. And while Soul does not diss Kendrick on this record, God, just dang. having what used to be one of his closest friends on this project is honestly an evil move from Cole. And with there being rumors that Kendrick has had some tension with TDE ever since he left the label in 2022. Bro, so Cole like pulled out some, hey, he went beyond, he went beyond. He went above Beyond, yes, taking God. the side of J. Cole, and this is really a massive betrayal yes. considering the amazing output Kendrick gave to the label when he was signed to it. And speaking of Kendrick's musical output, this is one of the main points J. Cole uses to diss Lamar on the record's outro song that is targeted to him seven minute drill. And with this oh three my minute, goodness, cut, I gotta while go the listen rest to this of Mike Delete later leads you to think that Cole is gonna fire back to Kendrick with some all time great material. In actuality, 
this diss is much more complicated than that. 7 Minute Drill is the song that the entire My Delete Later project was designed to lead up to as it's trying to be the moment that is going to explode the rap world as we know it and seemingly give Jay- Oh, that's, okay, we're doing a reaction to 7 Minute Drill. But when it comes to the execution of this song, the route Cole decided to take was interesting to say the least. Now to start off with the positive, what J. Cole gets right about this song. The up-tempo glitched out beat from T-Minus sets the perfect tone for Cole to come at Kendrick in full force with and beyond just this. From the confidence to the bravado. This nigga's really making music, bro? Or is he just on that D? And to some level. But for his standards, is so hostile and battle ready, and with the entire project working to set this up, this moment feels like a fulfilling climax until Cole actually begins to go in on Kendrick. Now, as Cole begins the first verse on this cut, just in the second line, he alludes to the current state of Kendrick Lamar's career and artistry with the bar, he fell off like The Simpsons, which is obviously implying that Cole believes that Kendrick has fallen off, but before- Hold on. Hello? Hello? What are you doing? I'm making YouTube videos, I gotta call you later. Uh, I was just seeing how your inspection went. Uh, they didn't even come to inspect it, so... Oh, uh, okay. Alright. Uh, can you order me Dave's? Okay. Can you yeah, order me? I will. All right. Let me. Bye. Mwah. Love my mom, man. Before we dive Back to into it. this further, as the verse rages on in the next bar, Cole attempts to destroy Kendrick with the lines. Your first, first was a classic. Your last was tragic. tragic. Your second put people to sleep, but they gassed it. Your third was massive, and that was your prime. I was trailing right behind, and now I just hit mine. And with this series of bars, this entire gotcha moment that Cole tried to pull on Kendrick just crumbles for so many reasons. Now first off, with Cole saying your first album was a classic, while on the track it says Kendrick's first album, what he's actually referring to is his second album, Good Kid Mad City, which is the same exact way MGK dissed Eminem in their rap beef as he mixed up when certain albums came out and ultimately, with a slip like this, just as Eminem made fun of MGK for not even getting his facts right before coming at him, Kendrick now has the power to do the same thing, but beyond this, Cole says Kendrick's last album was tragic? Now, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers was not an album that was designed for the clubs, but to call this album tragic and say that Kendrick has fallen off because of it is just blasphemous, as this project had such a greater impact than just being a huge popular Many trash. and making Cole sound even more ridiculous. He then says, referring to Kendrick's second album to Pimp a Butterfly, that it put people to sleep and they overhyped it, which okay? I could see I'm not gonna that lie, that man. This is such a subjective way to I'm ready for Drake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm ready for Drake. I'm ready for Drake to come through. That's what I'm really ready for. You know what I'm saying? I I love that J. Cole's snapping back. He's just giving Drake time. And with Cole Drake, going on Drake to time say to come that with that. Sam was when Kendrick peaked as it was such a massive record. Going back to him calling Mr. Morale the Big Steppers tragic. If he's basing this off of the success of an album, Mr. Morale literally outsold the offseason first week, so from Cole Ooh. getting the timelines wrong, not sticking to a criteria to define <sighs> greatness, and just speaking his unpopular opinions and trying to push them as fact, this diss just feels lame. Now, Cole is still able to pick things back up as he boasts about his skill and talks about the run he is on, which is definitely a fair point considering how dominant and great of a feature artist he has been. And then as he disses Kendrick's Grammys and calls the awards show meaningless, I gotta say, that was a genuinely great call out. But then, the verse begins to plunder again as Cole resorts to just making fun of Kendrick Lamar for not dropping enough music, which considering the quality of whatever he releases when he does drop, is just a ridiculous critique. But beyond this, on the second half of the song, Cole once again alludes to the lack of music from Kendrick with the line, four albums in 12 years, I can divide, which is a reference to one of Jay-Z's disses at Nas on his song Takeover, and I think we all know what happened after Jay-Z drops Takeover which was, of course, Nas clapping back at Jay and humiliating him with the song Ether. Now, I'm not superstitious, but J. Cole seemingly falling into the same trope that got MGK embarrassed in his feud with Eminem and then interpolating a line from the song of the rapper who lost in the most iconic beef in hip-hop history just makes it seem like beyond what you even think about Cole's disses, he has put the right so on the for himself to just get destroyed at this point when Kendrick eventually decides to clap back. 
Now it's really frustrating because even with all this, I don't think this diss is horrible musically between the T-minus beat in the first half and the conductor. I gotta Williams listen to it, bro. I'm bullshitting, also, bro. Cole dropping a line. I'm like, bullshitting. We gotta react. We gotta react. Drop two classics right now is genuinely this. great, but overall. When you look at this verse in its entirety and see all of its flaws, I can't tell if this nigga is just no dick eating or he's right. Or he's right. Seven minute drill is better than what Kendrick Lamar did on like that. Now, with that said, Kendrick Lamar has to respond to this, and I do think that he will. Whether he makes another appearance on Future and Metro Boomin's upcoming second album, We Still Don't Ooh. Trust You, or he releases a song or even project of his own, because now, with Cole not just releasing a diss that, well, not great, still has everybody talking, and on top of that, giving us an entire project of some of his most inspired material ever. While most hip-hop fans will still refer to Kendrick as the king of the rap game, with all this new material that Cole's given us out of nowhere, he has definitely turned people's heads and made this feud interesting. So all in all, with J. Cole's new album might delete later, while the Kendrick diss did not hit as hard as it could have, and Cole may have made some errors that may make him the laughing stock mm -hmm. of the rap world very soon, as a whole, this is one of Cole's most entertaining projects ever, and it Hey, this is Cole outside his box for real. Like, Wrong you know what I'm saying? He's been in beats, but I think this is his prime, and he, so I mean, he might have been fucking up, but he can still bring it back if he's on that dick for real. I think we're finna go listen to it right now, so it might be another video. YouTube, catch you out. Follow, subscribe.